Hi everyone. Today I'm once again looking at shared coordinates but also sites within a model and how they can be transferred or how yeah transferred is of course a command that one can execute in Revit but we want them to exist within a file of our choosing. Um, I've come to the conclusion that it might be a very good idea to have a BIM manager set up files for the production line before it goes into action because of shared coordinate systems being imposed on Revit from Civil 3D um, and the way in which the coordinates are, are, are set up. In BIM 360, um, and I think a lot of people are working from home at the moment, it's a little bit different than from other land-based um, projects. I think most people will realize that. Um, having a look at the process for that, there's a, there's a great website. I'll put this link in the text for this video blog. But how you go about creating sites within your model and how do you then share that with each other and it comes down to you have to copy the file to start with so as many sites as you have within your topography for a model to appear multiple times um, so you would have to have as many uh, files copied right at the beginning so that you can transfer using project info from one file to the other and that's all good and well. We've done some blogs on these or some video blogs as well. Um, they're not overly complicated to do that. However, now you get to the situation where you need to transfer these locations into a file that doesn't share the coordinate system yet. In this case, I'm dealing with two files or I'm using two files in my BIM360 environment. One I've said transfer project info and the other one acquire coordinates and that's for a very specific reason. Let's look at the first one. Let's look what happens when we insert this file into our drawing. That's the 10. Right. We'll set our work set and link in the root file from the cloud. Just browse to that file quickly. There's ten. Right, and there we can see the two positions that I'm interested in, the two sites. We're used to acquiring coordinates by moving the topography or moving the uh, other file into position and then rotating that file and then the last thing we need to do is to set the elevation. So this level here is Z1 ground. We'd like that to correspond to level one. So and after we've done that now we want to acquire its coordinates. Should be easy, right? Manage. Acquire coordinates, and it says no, you can't do this. OK, 
cannot acquire coordinates from a model with multiple named locations. All right. So what I did instead is I create the same file and then delete the locations from that. That will give me one coordinate system that I can acquire. And this is exactly what I've done. Let me switch off the... Just unload this link. Bring in 20. We'll do the same thing again. From the cloud, we browse to where we need to be. Repeat the process of moving the file. Translating the file in X, Y, rotating the file, and translating the file in Z. Now because this doesn't have other site locations, we are able to acquire its coordinates. Now, how do we get the site locations in? Well, we switch on the other reloaded, reload the other link. That's the one with the locations in. Manage, transfer project standards. We choose twenty. We're looking for ten. Insert manage links. Ten not loaded. Reload. There we go. Transfer project standards. From 10, check none. Scroll down to project info. New only. And we have now managed to transfer the site locations that we need. So we need a intermediary file, an intermediary file with only the internal shared coordinate system before we can use another file also using the internal shared coordinate system but with shared locations to transfer project standards from. If we just use the one with the shared locations then we would not be able to acquire the shared coordinate system. Well, I hope you found this video helpful for when you transition onto the cloud and you need to do projects where there are multiple instances of the same design on the site. And if you need assistance with this, please contact Micrographics so we may be of assistance to you. Until next time, enjoy Revit and enjoy BIM 360.